Today we're going to try to answer what seems to be a simple question, and that is how high do you want to set your blade on your table saw when you're making a cut? And like everything else in woodworking, it depends. And so let's talk about some of those dependencies and let's talk through uh, how we're going to come to, the, to a conclusion on what is the correct uh, height of the saw blade. Uh, I don't know, this is, a, this is a saw stop table saw. Yours may be similar, yours may be very different, but uh, all table saws allow you to raise and lower the blade. This is a 10 inch table saw. And what that means is that this blade that is that you can put on, that you can fit to the table saw is 10 inches or less in diameter. Now what that means is that you can put this blade up until it hits the stops. And so you might think that you would have five inches of blade. Fact of the matter is you don't have five inches of the blade. You have more like four inches of the blade. And that's because the arbor and, and, and the mechanism that holds the blade to the arbor has to be kept below the surface of the table saw. And so this arbor, as you can see, comes up almost to the surface. That's this black, uh, this black washer-like thing that goes on to the arbor, comes up almost to the top of the tables, uh, to, to the surface of the table saw. And so that limits you in the height of the saw blade. So the saw blade maximum on this 10 inch table saw is about four inches. So you could set it anywhere from the thickness of the wood you're trying to cut up to four inches. Well, why not just set it at four inches? And so then it doesn't matter what, uh, what uh, depth of wood or what thickness of wood you pass through it. It'll just always be set the same and it'll do just fine. Well, that's not true. There's, uh, there's a safety concern, first of all, because if I put the blade up this far, and we'll put this uh, on here, I have that uh, cross-section size of blade to take my finger off. If, on the other hand, I lower this blade, I only have a very small amount of the blade that is gonna touch my hand if, heaven forbid, that happens. And so there's a safety issue. It's just flat safe, just flat out safer to have the blade down lower than it is to have the blade up higher. So from a safety perspective, you do not want the blade to extend very far above the piece of wood you're cutting. So here, this is uh, half inch wood, and you can see that it's, you know, three quarters of an inch above. It's about at the right depth on this four quarter board. Four quarter means it's an actual, about an actual three quarters of an inch in depth. And then if I took this uh, eight quarter, two inch board, I would have to raise that saw blade up some distance to get it to even come above, uh, above the piece of wood. Now I've been showing you pieces of wood basically in a rip configuration. And as you're all aware, a rip is when you pass the board into the blade lengthwise using a fence like, like this. Now another safety concern is that as you're passing this board through there between the fence and the saw blade, you're gonna have to use a push stick and you're gonna need a fairly narrow push stick and there's always a danger of this push stick slipping. And once again, the less blade that's showing above the board, if you happen to get the push stick into that blade, that's gonna be less of a catastrophe than if the blade is way above it. That's on a rip. The same thing holds true when you're doing a cross-cut configuration. Uh, again, if I'm doing a cross-cut, like this, 
I've got my hands in near a danger zone. And again, the more blade that's showing, that's more opportunity to do damage to, to me uh, in, in that situation. So you wanna keep the blade down relatively low. The other consideration that I wanna point out has to do with the quality of the cut. And this is, uh, I, I mean, safety is extremely important, but as fine woodworker, if you're a fine woodworker doing furniture, you also want to be concerned about the quality of the cut. And the quality of the cut is very much uh, wrapped up in uh, the blade, the teeth of the blade, they're going down into the wood. Uh, and when they go down into the wood, they chip the wood off. Well, if, if you have the blade set lower, just above the height of the, of the thickness of the wood, the, as it exits, the point of the blade is actually coming more in this direction than it is in a down direction. And so it doesn't chip out as much and it doesn't make as ragged an edge. So all of that said, the rule of thumb I use is I take the thickness of the board and I add about a quarter to a half, in between a quarter and a half inch and I, the top of the blade is between a quarter and a half inch above the wood in both a rip configuration and in a crosscut. So again, to wrap up, there's a safety concern, there's a quality of the cut concern. In both cases, uh, you want, for safety, you want less of the blade showing, and for quality of cut, you want the angle of the blade to be more uh, toward the rear of the table saw and not as much down into the table saw. And both of those are accomplished with the top of the blade being uh, a quarter to a half of an inch above the surface of the wood. We hope you like the answer to the question, uh, like the video, the content. If you do, please hit the like button and you can also subscribe and get notified of future content that we put out.